The Syracuse Police Department has seven canines that patrol the region with their handlers. The Common Council has requested a $20,000 grant from the Department of Homeland Security to replace Officer Charles Quick's aging dog. Quick says he can tell his dog Caesar is slowing down. He says it is bittersweet to get a new dog because he has gotten attached to it. You spend 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I spend more time with my dog than my family, believe it or not. Syracuse Police Sergeant Tim Stepien says after about eight years, the department starts watching the dogs closely to see when they need to be retired. We try to uh, look at the dog, the age of the dog, the health of the dog, and go from there. Obviously, any type of older dog like a person starts having aches, pains, and some things cropping up, so we try to plan ahead. Stepien says it takes about a year to train a police dog. All of the dogs are trained for tracking and searching for either narcotics or explosives. Common Council member Pamela Hunter said, quote, Overall, throughout the city, crime is down. Anything like the dogs or other tools they use in fighting crime is helpful, unquote. Sergeant Stepien says the dog will cost the department about $7,000. The rest of the grant money will go towards replacing an old canine vehicle. He says, the department hopes to have the dog purchased by next year and begin training in the spring. In Syracuse, I'm Trish Kilgannon for NCC News.